I'm about to let the uh, sheep out. Java sometimes stays at the very bottom, away from the stampede. And there's time. Are you coming to... Are you coming to watch? Hmm? Yeah? Okay, now to release the stampede. Hey ladies, how are you? You didn't get prime location, did you, Crystal? I mean, not Crystal, Kestrel. Hey, hey, leave it, Inca. No, 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 wrong moment. They're just going to their breakfast. Okay, let's go look. Come on, Java, Java, leave it, come on. Leave it, come on. We're gonna go look at um, the hay and see how it's doing. It might need a new bale. I have a feeling, yep, look. Tadpoles have hatched. All their eggs are gone. So there's loads of tadpoles now in the pond, in the aquifer. Yay, lots of babies. The hay is doing well. There's still plenty of hay for them. With the donut, reverse donut, inverted donut hole in the middle or lack thereof. So looking good. Isn't that right, Java? With your floofy tail. You good girl. Okay. I've got tree surgeons coming today our woods are down over there and that I'm fencing off and they're gonna have to fell a whole load of dead ash trees that are along the road because they're dangerous along the road so before we put the fence up in the woods we have to take down the dead ash trees now here we have ash trees and they're fine and healthy None of them are dead yet, knock on wood. But what I'm understanding is from a botanist and from other people is the uh, information is accumulating that if you get rid of the leaves from under the ash trees, the disease that's killing the ash, uh, you break the cycle. So all these ash trees, the sheep come up here and graze their fallen leaves and it's sheep, cows don't do it. So that's why these ash trees all along here are alive. And we have a huge one down in these woods and that's alive because I have the sheep grazing there. So once the sheep start grazing in those woods over there, I'm hoping that the ash tree will break the cycle down there and we won't be losing more ash trees. Isn't that right? To ash die back. So it's sheep that keep ash trees alive by eating the fallen leaves in autumn. Isn't that right, kitty? You beautiful kitty. Yeah. Oh, you want to jump on my shoulder. Isn't that what you yeah, want? Let's see. Are you going to jump on my shoulder? <laughs> By the way, happy Women's Day, all the women around the world. I gather this year is the 100th anniversary of National or International Women's Day. So 100 years of celebrating Women's Day for women, which is great news as I have a, the arse of a cat on my head. Are you going to get up a little bit more? <laughs> I tell you, there's nothing like a warm cat as a scarf around your neck. <laughs> Happy Women's Day, everybody. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. You've got to go back up. Go on. Brindle, leave it. Go on. Come on. Come on. Go on. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, easy Inca, easy, come on, easy, easy. Okay, Inca, leave it, Java, leave it, Java, 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 Inca, leave it. They're going and they're in lamb, or a lot of them are. 
are you kitty? You come to watch. Up, oh, your brother. Your bold, bolshy brother is arriving. Those two don't get along, even though they're brothers. Both rescued from a dairy farm on the other side of the river. Yeah, they're always fighting. Okay. Come on, girls. Inca, leave it. Easy does it. Java, easy. Good boy. Easy, Java. Easy. Come on. Easy Java, easy Inca. Good dogs. All looking for bits of food that the sheep missed. Come on. Come on, girls. Easy. Inca, leave it. Let them go. Easy does it. It's very mucky. Okay. Looking good. Now to release the shed yos. Okay. It's not meant to rain today. The sun isn't out yet. But we're going to let you guys out anyway. Come on. Out of girls. They don't like this muddy bit here. This mucky, muddy bit. Come on, ladies. Uh, she's looking lame. Brindle, leave it. That's not good. I'm trying to resolve the lame issue. Come on. Yeah, she's looking lame. Oh, that yo unintentionally opened the gate. Brindle, easy. Come on, girls. Leave her alone. Easy. Java. Java. Easy. Maya. Easy. Come on, a little bit. A little bit. With her little bit of white. Come on. Come on, girls. Come on, girls. Out of girls. Easy does it, you two. Easy does it. Come on. Java, easy. Java. Java, easy does it. Java. Java, Java. Java, Java. Good boy. Come here. Come here. Take it easy. Good boy. Java. Easy does it. Inca, easy. Good girl. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Good dogs. Whew. There's quite a wind this morning. Bites. A biting wind. Come on, little bit. Come on. Java, come back. Java, Java. Easy, Java. Java, easy. Good boy. Easy does it. Good boy. Come on, little bit. Come on, little bit. Somebody told me the other day, uh, there's a term here in Ireland, when the wind is so sharp, it takes a shortcut through you. It's true. When it's bitter and sharp, it certainly takes a shortcut.
sword cut through you. Come on, little bit. Come on, ladies. Maya, easy. Good girl. The three herders being relatively obedient. Java, you're being very good. Take it easy. ladies rising before they get turned into their paddock good ladies there I'd say they're gonna be leaving this paddock soon or this might be the last day out here because there's not as much grass at the moment the regrowth is slow that's okay we've got grass elsewhere isn't that right how are you lilac or Lacey, what did I call her? I think I called her Lilac. Oh, my head. I can't remember. Uh, typical. I got myself splattered and completely wet. Look at that. Yuck. I was pulling this tire out of the water tank because I need to use this tire to move a magnificent stone that I found up over in the woods uh, where the tree surgeons are working. So I'm gonna use the stone, uh, sorry, use the tire to move the stone because it's so heavy. So hopefully this is gonna work. One last tree down there. Oh, he's putting a rope around it. Anyway, they're stacking up the ash, the dead ash, which will become loads of firewood. This is where the fence line is gonna go along here. Oop. And down she goes. Boom. So all the dead ash, you can see the laurel in there. I'll slowly work my way through that on myself, clearing that all up. But uh, the main thing is getting the fence line ready to put the fence in. And these dead ash were taken out. That's uh, a dead ash that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Uh, I'd say that's about 30 years old. But the firewood's stacked there, and I'm picking up rubbish as I go. Rubbish that's been here for ages. This is a gun cartridge, and this is a plastic bottle, and a tin. Look at that. This tin is in bits. Slowly picking rubbish. But it's so sad. All these ash, because of ash dieback, are dead. Look at that. And more rubbish. Look at that. Oh, that's, I thought that was rubbish. It's not. Anyway, the fence line is going to go all the way up to that corner. So it comes all the way down here. I'm gonna pick up that rubbish. But there's stacks of firewood that I'll be able to get over the years. Look at all that laurel. That laurel is preventing anything living underneath it. And then over here, so eliminating biodiversity is what the laurel does. And then over here, it's, uh, oh look, another bit of rubbish. I'm gonna put this rubbish next to that rubbish and come back for it. But in here, there's just ivy. Loads and loads of ivy. 
loads and loads of ivy and laurels. The two species that can monoculture a place and make it so there is a lack of biodiversity. So we're working on reawakening these woods. Look at the amount of light coming in here. Be able to plant loads of stuff and then the seed bank will rejuvenate. So there'll be, hopefully cow parsley will go like bilio in here. But it's a good bit of woods. I think we have uh, three or four acres of woods. Some of which, like in here and down here, hasn't been touched in 40, 50 years or more. And this is the old laneway. It goes along here and up through the woods over there to the old lime quarry. I'd like to reactivate that just as a place to walk because it'll be beautiful because there's ferns. There'll be ferns and all kinds of things underneath these beech and ash and we found some elm and spindle in places. So this area here will get full of hopefully cow parsley. Here's further into the woods, away from where the fencing is occurring. And you can see it's very much a monoculture, except for maybe an occasional lord and lady or jack in a pulpit. And then you go this way and you can see it's ivy everywhere. Ivy, ivy, ivy. Basically, a monoculture of ivy. And I want it to become a biodiversity of woodland flora to feed the wildlife. There's a bit of holly there, I'm really pleased. But you can see over there, there's loads of laurel. Over time, I'm gonna get rid of that. But first thing to do is get it fenced and then the sheep can come in and start doing damage to the ivy because we want to lose the monoculture of ivy. There's a bit of laurel, one stand of it. I'll get rid of that easy enough at some stage. It's all a process. There's a bit of um, laurel as well. So yeah, I'll, I'm going to do a bit of a video of what where I've done before so that you can see the difference of what this monoculture of ivy looks like versus the biodiversity that I'm pursuing. Come on! Come on, girl! Atta girl! Good girl! Yeah. Okay, I've got to make sure I have all the dogs because they'll get lost. I have three. I don't know where Maya and Java are. I lost them maybe on my on my track back, I might find them. So here are the troops. Well, I've got four of the troops. I don't know where Maya is. But right here is one of the old quarries on our land. It was a limestone quarry. They used to mine for limestone to adjust the pH on the land. Oh, kitty, how are you? Time is going down into the limestone quarry. So he's well beneath us. Yeah, you gonna come up? Yeah, a bit of a jump up there, isn't it? My beautiful kitty, yeah. So all in there is the quarry. Goes off to the left and off to the right. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. Off to the left. Oh, that was the cat jumping like up I on said. me. Like I said, that was the cat jumping up on me. Luckily, I've got this thick coat. <laughs> Look at this kitty. Anyway, there's the quarry, limestone quarry. I'm going to now show you what um, it's. I've done over the last 25 years about uh, creating biodiversity of uh, flora on the woodland floor. And that's what it should be about. A monoculture of ivy does very little. It only feeds animals twice a year when it flowers and when it berries. 
And for nesting, it's much better if birds have holly to nest in rather than ivy because the corvids are notoriously awful at finding the nests and stealing the eggs and fledglings. I think somebody's on the other side of the woods. Dogs are all worried. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to walk through the woods with a cat on my shoulder. <laughs> I might tip over. I should be careful. <laughs> Look at these woods. They really are lovely. Look at that. Loads of trees. Okay, I'm going to stop filming so I can concentrate where I'm going so I don't fall on my nose and tip. The cat will land fine, as cats do, but me as a human, I might not. <laughs> so here you can see one side with the ivy taking control of the woodland floor. And here, look at that. First thing are violets. Loads of dog violets are coming up out of the ground. More lords and ladies, but we already have those. Lots of holly. There is bits of ivy. There is um, not hogweed. I can't think of its name, I'm being stupid. Anyway, can you move so that I can step over the log? Thank you. So this is the uh, aquifer that feeds the water tank in the field where I released the frog the other day. Look at that, celandine, loads of celandine, some bramble, some more holly, cow parsley, Coming in here, this is, I think this is wild raspberry. Loads of wild raspberry in here. Coming in here, these are bluebells. I threw a lot of bluebell seeds in here. And these are the bluebells coming up. More lords and ladies, cow parsley. And this would have been the most recent area that I cleared, as in the last um, 10 years or so. And I would do this kind of thing to protect the holly. There's a bit of holly growing here. I'd do a kind of log thing around some of the baby hollies. And, oh, I dropped this stick. And then you come through here, more celandine, brambles, bluebells. And come in here and more celandine, cow parsley, hogweed, uh, lords and ladies, bluebells, and more and more and more biodiversity of plant life under the trees. Loads and loads of cow parsley, celandine, dog violets. These are all snowdrops. And then closer to the edge, there's some daffodils and uh, crocuses. So this, this is the woodland that I want to create. So that bluebells and bluebell, bluebell flowers, bluebell seeds feed animals. Cow parsley pollinators and their seeds feed birds. Snowdrops are pollinators. Dog violets are pollinators. So it feeds a broad diversity and I'm trying to get the holly to grow. There is laurel in there, but there's also holly. There's holly there and just beyond, but then there's the laurel there. So I'm trying to get rid of laurel. So this is what the sheep have helped me create is this incredible floral biodiversity on the woodland floor of beech, ash, lime, uh, what else, holly, all kinds of trees. That was the old spring house where, um, that was where the pump was to put water up to the house in days gone by. And there's another holly, another holly. 
so loads of oh and look there's uh these are um aconites uh, surrounded by cow parsley and there's oh yeah there's wood anemones i planted some wood anemones in here over here whoops i'm gonna fall over now where are the wood anemones i planted some here last year bluebells cow parsley snowdrops i've divided lots of snowdrops in here well i know there's wood anemone i saw it earlier so you know what's going to happen is i'm going to turn off the video and i'm suddenly going to see the wood anemones as soon as oh there's some no that's bird shit loads of bird shit right there so somebody lives up in this beech tree ha no wood anemone I know there is some, by the way, because I did see, I did plant some last year and it came up this year. Anyway, this is what I'm pursuing, is biodiversity.